Local 3 Sports with Tori Thorne. We're in the heart of playoff season for winter sports and today in girls high school basketball we had some big district finals matchups here in the UP beginning with our game of the week between Berga and Ishpeming. Let's head up now to Berga for the matchup between the Hematites and the Vikings. We're going to pick this one up in the third quarter. Ishpeming a big. Jenna Mackey the heads up pass here down to Maya Hemmer down low. She finishes with the lay-in and Ishpeming grows their lead. Then still in the third quarter, this time Addison Morton got to miss it initially, but collects her own rebound and gets it to go. Ishpeming up 32. Then nearing the end of the third quarter here, Berga's Mia Coronado makes a nice move, pulls up for the mid-range jumper and gets it to fall for the Vikings. The Pematite's still cruising. Here in the fourth, Lily Swanson on the perimeter, scans the defense, makes a perfect pass for the lay-in to Mackey. And that caps off a huge night for Ishpeming. They secured the district crown with a win over Berga, 63-31. to This one means a lot. Um, you know, we, we, worked, we had a great offseason. We worked so hard. Uh, you know, we traveled over 2,000 miles for team camps just alone as a team. So uh, this didn't happen by accident. All right? This team's been training for this, and uh, I think that you can see by the product we're putting out there. We battled foul trouble, and then, you know, Peyton Cockery coming in and hitting some shots, Peyton Bendier and getting a layup. Those are, and Peyton Manning and hitting a three. Like, those are big buckets that we needed, uh, especially when we had, you know, Maya and uh, Jenna Mackey on, on the bench with us. And it was actually able to rest those goals for the second half. Next, let's head out east for D2 District Finals between the Nagani Miners and Sault Ste. Marie Blue Devils. Nagani senior Ella Mason just six points away from breaking the Nagani High School all-time scoring record. In early first quarter, Mason lines up a three from the corner, makes it three nothing Miners. Then a bit later, Madison Peckroll gets free down low. She finishes a tough reverse, five nothing Nagani. Then second quarter, we're tied at six. Bella Smith here gonna give the Blue Devils their first lead of the game. The Sioux leads nine to six after the made free throw. Then Nagani will regain the lead a short time later. Aubrey Johnson with a blow by. She finishes through contact. It's 10 9 Miners. Still in the second quarter, Gretel Johnson this time lines up a three and knocks it down. Miners up four. Third quarter here, Mason hits a fadeaway. It's 21 to 11 Nagani. Mason now just one point shy of the record. And on this free throw here, Mason moves to number one on the Nagani High School all time scoring list, breaking Tyler Jandron's previous record of 1,334 career points. Then fourth quarter, Miners pulling away Grace Nardi with a dish to Gretel Johnson for the land. And with that, the Nagani Miners take down the Sioux Blue Devils 38-21 to capture their third straight district title. Yeah, well, we knew we knew it was going to be a more knock them down, grind, you know, grind it out game. Sioux's very good defensively, um, coming down in their home gym, playing on the road. You know, uh, we had some offensive hurdles to climb, but what our what was rock solid all night was our defensive effort. Um, you know, keep this team to 21. We've seen them light it up uh, multiple times on film. Just the girls bought into a, a game plan on a one-day turnaround and executed it to perfection. You know, I thought we really tried to shut down what they wanted to do, and um, you know that, that's ultimately what got us through tonight was our defense and kind of what it's gotten us through all year. Our defense has been our calling card. And some more district final scores for you in Division Three. A good one here. Late in the game, West Iron County goes on a 16-4 run and outlasts Westwood 59-53. And Bark River Harris, the Broncos fall to Harbor Springs, 47 to 39. In Division Four, Ewan Trout Creek takes down Ironwood, 52 to 42. Lakeland and Hubble beats Hancock, 49 to 43. Kearney Nado takes down Norway, 53 to 46. The Unison gets the win over Newberry, 47 to 40. Brimley pulls out the win over Kinross Maplewood Baptist, 46-39. Finally, St. Ignace wins big over Mackinac City, 74 to 33.